Hey there, Walt here from Walt in PA, and today I want to tell you about my very first experience riding a 2017 Honda CBR 300R. On Sunday, October 9th, I was scheduled to attend the Bucks County Covered Bridge Ride with a handful of friends from the Walt NPA Discord server. As the date approached, I found myself with a severe problem. I didn't have a motorcycle to ride. Leading up to the group ride, I realized that the rear tire on my 2022 Yamaha MT-09 SP was completely toast and needed to be replaced. I decided to do the work myself to save a few bucks and managed to strip the threads from the rear brake caliper in the process. With OEM parts on back order, it looked like my riding season might just be over. I desperately wanted to attend the Bucks County Covered Bridge ride, so I started to explore my options. I toyed with the idea of running a bike from Twisted Road and Rideshare, and eventually decided against it. In a last ditch effort, I decided to reach out to family to see if I could borrow a bike. Unfortunately, things fell through due to unforeseen circumstances and it looked like I was going to miss this ride. The day before the group ride, I received a surprise message from a friend. He told me that his wife was feeling under the weather and wouldn't be able to make the ride. Knowing that I wanted to go, she offered me her 2017 Honda CBR 300R. While it would be like night and day comparing it to my 2022 Yamaha MT-09 SP, it sounded like tremendous fun and I eagerly accepted. Honda's CBR 300R has been a fan favorite for years and the 2017 model is no exception. The bike packs a punch with its 286cc single cylinder engine and slim design, making it perfect for both beginner and seasoned riders. The 2017 Honda CBR 300R also boasts an LCD display and LED turn signals for added convenience. Of course, Honda's famous build quality gives riders peace of mind with its reliable performance and durable construction. Overall, the CBR 300R is an excellent option for anyone looking for an agile motorcycle. First Impressions when I threw my leg over the CBR 300R, I didn't know what to expect. Simply put, it was the smallest bike I had ridden since I took the MSF Basic Rider course in my early 20s. At 265 pounds, would this bike even have the power to get me moving down the road at more than a snail's pace? When I pulled in the clutch and pressed the starter, the 286cc engine came to life and began purring like a kitten. Despite my size, I was comfortable as I eased out the clutch and pulled away followed behind Untamed Ride as we made our way to the main road. He rolled on the throttle and took off like a rocket. I cracked open the throttle and attempted to follow suit, and I didn't have a prayer at keeping up with the 2022 Aprilia RS660. First gear on the Honda CBR 300R felt like its primary function was to generate just enough momentum to get you in the second gear. From there, each gear felt a little more spread out, allowing you to build speed. Reaching 60 miles an hour on this small bike was no problem at all. In fact, I'd say the bike did it with ease, but getting there took a bit more time than I was accustomed to. Getting comfortable. It didn't take long to realize that riding the CBR 300R would be much different than I was accustomed to. The riding style was vastly different from my Yamaha, and I think with bigger bikes, you take for granted that you have instant power at the twist of the wrist. Being a gear too high coming out of a bend wasn't a problem. That was not the case on the CBR 300R. Each incline and bend in the road required a little extra focus. You had to be in the right gear and in the proper RPM range, otherwise you would lose precious speed and momentum making corrections. This isn't to say a 300 is difficult to ride, it just means that you have to be careful on how you use the available power. When we pulled into our first stop, there were sarcastic jabs about the raw power of my little Honda CBR 300R. I smiled and responded, you guys think that this is just a leisurely cruise, but I'm back here feeling like Rossi with the engine screaming. It is amazing. There is an old adage in the motorcycle community that goes, it is more fun to ride a slow bike fast than it is to ride a fast bike slow, and I found that to be the case. 
The little Honda CBR300R is an incredibly fun bike to ride through twisty southeast Pennsylvania roads. Is the Honda CBR300R a good beginner bike? Are you looking for your first motorcycle? Honda's CBR300R might just be the perfect choice. It's small, lightweight, and easy to maneuver, making it an excellent option for both novice and experienced riders. Don't let the size fool you. The little 286cc engine packs a punch. It's also more affordable than Honda's other models, leaving more room in the budget for fancy add-ons or the necessary safety gear. Honda is also known for their quality and reliability, so you can trust that the bike will last for years. If you're ready to jump into the world of motorcycling, Honda's CBR300R is worth a closer look. Is the Honda CBR300R a good bike for an experienced rider? And this is a much more difficult question to answer than is the CBR300R a good beginner bike? While it is a blast to ride, I wouldn't run out and buy one as a backup to a significantly larger bike. It's fun and has amazing fuel economy, but it leaves a lot to be desired when it comes to power and torque. An experienced rider may be served better with something along the lines of a Ninja 300, which increases the engine size slightly to 296 cc's in a parallel twin format. If you're not opposed to a more aggressive riding style, the Yamaha R3 may be an even better option at 321 cc's and a parallel twin engine format. Conclusion. I am incredibly grateful to have borrowed the 2017 Honda CBR300R so that I could attend the Bucks County Covered Bridge Ride. By the time I returned home, I had ridden for roughly 100 miles. I felt comfortable and had loads of fun on southeast Pennsylvania back roads. If given an opportunity to take this bike out for a spin, as an experienced rider or a novice, I would not pass up the opportunity. I think you will enjoy all that this motorcycle has to offer. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button. It lets me know that I'm on the right track producing content that you want to watch. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and as always, ride safe, and I will catch you in the next one.